20 minute chicken enchiladas. Sounds too good to be true? I am here to show you that you can do it. Ready? First step, we're just gonna get all of our delicious flavoring ingredients in the pan. First is tomato sauce. Next is a cup of pre-chopped onion. This is terrific. A lot of uh, grocery stores offer pre-chopped vegetables. This is the time you wanna use it. Quarter teaspoon of salt, flour, chili powder, cumin, red pepper flakes, garlic powder, and a cup of chicken stock. Just whisk those ingredients together. Crank this to high heat. While that's coming to a boil, it's time to shred the chicken. Just remove that skin and say goodbye. Here's some breast meat. Very easy to tear into little bite-sized pieces. All right, let's take a look in that pot. Oh, terrific. Nice. When you make this sauce, be sure to use a deep pot so that it doesn't splatter. Now, I'm gonna remove a cup and a half of the sauce. This is a time you wanna use a liquid measuring cup and a ladle. And my sauce is simmering away. Time to add the chicken and the beans. First the chicken, and then the black beans. And now just stir it all together. Get that delicious sauce all integrated with the chicken and the beans. Let the chicken cook for about two minutes or until it's warmed through. All right, filling is ready. Time to fill these gorgeous corn tortillas. These are nice six inch corn tortillas. They've been warmed in a microwave, so they're nice and malleable. I've got 12 of them, so I'm gonna equally distribute the filling and very simply roll them up and put them seam side down right here in the pan. You wanna work quickly here so those tortillas stay warm and malleable. In a 13 by nine inch dish, you're gonna get two rows of six. And believe it or not, that was the hardest part of this recipe and that was a lot of fun. So my tortillas are filled, now it's time to put the sauce on. Now this is the one and a half cups of sauce that I pulled out earlier. Next, grab a little bit of pre-shredded cheese and sprinkle it all over the top. I'm gonna to pop this under the broiler for three minutes until the sauce is bubbly and the cheese is melted. Oh, this looks beautiful. A few finishing touches, a little bit of fresh cilantro, and tomato. If you wanna give it a little spicy kick, you can add some fresh chopped jalapeno as well. Oh, great. I love this. It looks beautiful coming out from under the broiler and it's even better adding a little bit of fresh cilantro, fresh chopped tomatoes. Beautiful. All you have to do is serve it at the table just like this with a side of sour cream. For more great recipes like this, visit cookinglight.com.